so one week ago I was definitely not feeling in full winter mode yet and I was still feeling quite autumnal and then the snow came <laughs> this week um, so we've had a decent amount of snow it's been really cold um, it looks beautiful outside but it just makes you kind of want to like curl up and hibernate which I think is normal and you should do um, so today we're just gonna have a really Christmassy cozy day and um, there's a couple of things that we want to do so um, we need to go and get a Christmas tree um, try and fit it somewhere. It was a bit of a struggle last year, so it's still going to be like that this year as well. Um, then we might go to some Christmas markets as well. Um, and then we're just going to decorate the tree, generally decorate the house for Yule, and yeah, just probably watch a Christmas film, um, eat some snacks, and yeah, that's what we're going to do. So um, I hope you enjoy this video, just a nice, cozy, simple one. Um, hopefully, give you some ideas of things that you could do to kind of welcome in winter and start off the season as well um so let's go and see if we can find a tree So we've got the tree, but it's pretty bushy, so um, and it won't fit in the stand. So we're just going to try and see if we can chisel it down and then smush it into the corner. Um, but we've got the Christmas ambience video on, so double fireplace. Um, and yeah, we're going to give it a go. Nine million years later, we managed to do it. Ta-da! I'm ready. Oh, <laughs> it's lovely. Very good. Oh, it is nice. Yeah, it's nice. It's even distribution. <laughs> it is very well done. I'm impressed. So a couple of years ago I made these out of felt and I made different kind of woodland animals so there's a fox, I think there's a bear in there somewhere and then I've got a yule goat as well and then obviously just had to make the goddess put her on the tree. Um, so I did make a video about this last year I think so I'll put a little um, card at the top so you can go and watch it if you haven't seen it yet and I'll show you how to make those um, but I really like having them on the tree just to bring a little bit of nature inside.
please just ignore all of this right now um but i just wanted to show you a really easy uh christmas decoration craft which i've done this year and it's actually the first time i've ever done it and i don't know why i haven't done it before i think i thought that the the process would be a little bit more difficult but it's not and it's basically just making things out of orange slices and some other little bits and bobs so just show you an example of this one here so it's orange slices and i've got lime slices cinnamon and then a little bit of christmas tree as well but obviously you can use whatever you want um i've got like pine cones and things and i made a few that just hang up a little bit like this then this one is more of like that you would hang somewhere and you just slide that orange along <laughs> but um yeah like that kind of thing just to like hang it on a window or across the fireplace something like that so um it smells amazing as well it smells so nice and basically all i did was just cut um oranges into thin slices and the lime as well um and the lime kind of went like really dark um i think maybe i burnt it but it actually looks quite nice so i've just got these little orange slices smell so good um and then basically you just thread holes through them um i've got a couple of other things as well so i do have some star anise and then i do have cloves um and i i love the smell of clove so much um clove and orange is just so christmasy to me but i'm not sure how to actually put them under the oranges yet i could just glue them but then i feel like I don't know if I want to just go and glue on the, the oranges with cloves and especially because it'll be a bit messy so I don't know if I could just like poke them through but anyway I'm gonna try and just make a couple more because um I've got the living room I've got the Christmas tree up and I've got some like um kind of garlandy things with like pine cones and and berries and that sort of thing but we're gonna be eating Christmas dinner in the conservatory I'm gonna extend the table so I want to put some things in there to just make it feel like a little bit more festive and just nice and cozy once I do get the table and everything set up so yeah let's just do it and I'll, I'll show you what you can do So I'm always thinking about the household spirit in general. If you watch this channel then you know that I talk about it all the time. The idea of like a house gnome or pixie, brownie or all across the world different words for it. Tomte, Nisa, Domavoy, like all these different types of house spirit. And winter is a time when I think about them even more. So I did make these little personifications of house spirits last year out of clay and i did have a third one unfortunately his nose fell off so he's in the hospital right now getting repaired but i like having some little kind of 
gnomes out just to remind me of the household spirit and a nice thing to do as well is on the solstice or any day that you choose um, leaving out a little offering for them like oats milk these kind of things and I've got these two guys as well um, which I'm pretty sure one of them's got a light in them actually I've never tried to turn them on um, but I'm gonna put these in the kitchen obviously because they're a bit of a different color scheme from in here but um, and they're a little bit Christmassy as well with like the star and everything but um, I really like having those in there and then I've got this big guy up there just kind of watching over the room watching over the household um, I just got this new star for the tree um, I actually got this from home bargains it was like two pound so it's quite nice and natural compared to um, the red glittery one that we had I always got my Sinita worship the old gods and yeah just a nice little festive kind of corner so that's pretty much it and this is the finished result of the tree. Um, I still think I am going to put a couple more decorations on or get some or make some because there's a few bare patches. I think the tree is bigger this year than we've had before. Um, so this is what we've got and yeah that's it. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you got some ideas of things that you could do, little designs that you could make in easy easy crafts and DIYs and I would love to know how you get ready for Yule um, so please do just drop a comment as always and thank you so much for watching.